What's up, y'all? This is the second time making this video. I already made this one once. But I got in some news that screwed the video up. Uh, Vandenberg was supposed to be H&J taking it on. But the Vandenberg Fair screwed that up. And uh, so right now, H&J is not going to be able to do it. Put on that show. And everybody was looking forward to that. Because they're a favorite around here. So, I was wanting to take the PT to Vandenberg. I was wanting to do a call out. Call someone out at Fort Vandenberg. And, you know, see what they got. But, if H&J ain't printed it on, there's a good chance I'm not going to run Vandenberg. Because I'm not running A&C again. I don't like them. Goober. Come here, bug me. But yeah, so we'll keep that uh, on the back burner for right now. We're still building that car. Yeah. Uh, the, I've got videos on the car. I know y'all have been asking about the PT. I've got a couple videos already on it, but I'm waiting on dealing with the previous owner right now. So, and so until that's settled, there, I'm not going to have anything posted on that car until then because it's... I don't want to upset them and end up screwing me over. So, I'm still going to build the car. I still own it. But still dealing with them. Because they hold the title. So, yeah. But as you see behind me, it's a new project. It's a new It's not ours, though. <laughs> Customer mower. It's a friend of mine. That Wanted me to... Yeah, well, I'm going to put this tractor back together, get it running so he can use it. It's a 1971 Wheel Horse Raider 10. has a 10 horse Kohler, 3 speed, high and low range. It's a pretty good tractor. I like it. Yay. Speed board. I've got the ram boards off on this side Boom. so I can get the belt for it. Beam. Still need a few things. Put it back together. It was in the middle of a restoration when the guy gave up on it, and then my friend bought it, and he's gonna put it back together and actually use it. So I got a nice little list here of things I need to finish this project. Can we play with Oreo? No. Not yet. But when this tractor was brought to me, it was literally in pieces. Uh, yeah. Here's one of the totes it was in. As you see, there's still a bunch of pieces in there, but those are all bonus parts, except for that shield. That shield needs to go back on, but it was in pieces. And, uh, oop. also came with a couple of mowing decks and the big plow. The plow is what he wanted, so he can plow his driveway. The mowing decks are for sale if anyone needs one for an old wheel horse. That deck there is pretty solid. Has one spindle that's kind of seized up right now, but you could probably get freed up. This deck works, but does have a little bit of a rust hole. As you can see, not bad though. It's in pretty good shape. Definitely worth restoring. Dad, how long are we going to be staying out here? Oh, yeah, that's what I've been up to there. I've been working on another um, friend's mower. For getting it ready for a derby. I can't post any pictures on that because he requested that. So I'm kind of leaving it out. Uh, this stuff's been drug out because I am missing a mower now. The twin to the uh, uh, hot rod mower is gone. That white MTD traded off last night. Papa Willie. No! <laughs> I'm not doing a cookie. Yeah. Mowing deck to a wheel horse. Do not slow down. I got this thing back. I already owned it. I just haven't went and picked it up. I actually had forgotten about I'm this thing. And my buddy brought it over. <sighs> I had I had totally beep forgot beep about beep. the thing. And then uh, I traded that other good that, that MTD, that white. I traded it for this. This big chunk of scrap junk came with a couple, 
couple of rear ends that are really oddballs. Uh, I'm gonna pull that pulley off, and these rear ends will be up for sale, and they're gonna go cheap. I don't know anything about them. I don't really care. I didn't want them. I might throw one underneath this here, make it a roller, and sell this whole frame. This frame's really not that bad. Um, I don't know whose bright idea it was to screw the column up. It was a first gen steering. Oh, the. Cool. This is really the first time I've seen that. I bought this in nighttime. So. Oh, cool. Drag links there for the. Came with a second gen steering gearbox. I guess a uh, person was going to try to put it on here. But it's first gen. So I'm going to put a first gen back on there. Probably an HD or something like that. Something simple. And put a new column on it. Because it's really not bad. A uh, new dash and replace this plate here to take this bullshit off. Yeah. Bolt the uh, back fenders back on. Of course, I gotta go over all the welds because the welds are crap. And a lot of them are already starting to bust. What? Like, there's a nice cracked one right there. If you can what? see it. What? Cracked welds. Ew. And uh, someone done cut off the front cage. This was an SS mower. SS. It's an old one, uh, I believe from 2015. It's an old one. Careful. So what I'm gonna do, the cage isn't really overdone or anything. I see a lot more spots that ain't welded. Uh, that? It's another one that's just like the mod. I'm gonna have to go over all the welds. Is that? Cool. That looks like oil, but it's yeah. but that gas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish cutting these where someone tried to start cutting this stuff off, yep, I'll finish cutting these bars off. Then they cut into the frame there. I may just cut this whole front end off and resub it. And uh, this would be an SS mower, or not an SS, yeah. but a stock class. I have all the parts put back together. Got two chickies right here. Uh, probably cut this little back bumper thing here off. This junk, cut that off, and then it'd be a stock class mower. I don't know what I'm going to do with it really, if I'm just going to get it back to being a roller, sell it, or keep it for a spare, or whatever, I don't know. Uh, the main thing I don't like is how narrow these footwells are. I like a little bit more breathing room. It's not horrible, horrible, but I don't know, my new mower's kind of got me spoiled. Yeah, but uh, if you're wondering why I traded a complete running driving mower for this junk, it's because of what's in here that came with it. This is why. 16 horse Vanguard V Twin that runs. Needs tune up, but it runs. So, mainly I wanted the motor. That's the main thing I wanted. It rained last night. Wet. Yeah. Like That's what I wanted. So. I feel like going on a bike ride today. It feels no, really I got nice. things to do today. Wet. But yeah. Let me know if you want to see this thing get built. Or if I should just sell it. Because this is another basket case. It's going to take some work, but it's definitely worth fixing. I'm going to flip it over here in a minute and see how bad the underside is. But looks like the frame's pretty good on it still. It's definitely, it'd be worth saving. So, I may just do that. I may just get back to a roller and sell it as a roller. Make a few dollars out of it. I don't know. Hell, I may just keep the damn thing for a spare. Or, or, uh, turn it into a rental. Hell, I don't know. Probably just trade it off. But yeah. Oh, it's bright outside. It's nice out today. I'm going here at work. Uh, here soon, my buddy that I'm working on a wheel horse for, he's going to be coming over, and then we're going to go on a parts run, get the, go ahead and go get the rest of the parts we need, put this back together. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, he's also got another wheel horse he's uh, going to be giving me. That's kind of just like it. So that would be a cool project to play with. And uh, 
Uh, he's also got a, a, a hydraulic PTO mower, a bigger garden tractor I'm interested in. So, why try to work a deal on that one too? So, yeah. So stay tuned for that. If I get them or not. Yeah. All right, that's what I've been working on all week is this mower here, putting it back together and working on the other mower, getting it going, or getting it built. And yeah. But here soon, I'm going to start working on derby cars. Got derby cars built. My mowers are done, or in that basket case one, which won't take long. So yeah. Uh, think about doing a live stream sometime. Might do a live, live stream while I work on that one mower, that basket case. Basket I don't know. case. Yep, junk. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I got some older videos I need to get uploaded. They're getting older by the day. junk for? Because that other mower is junk. Well, it is right now. It won't be when we get done with it, will it? No. Yeah. But yeah, I got older videos. This flood threw me out about three weeks or so. So I got really? videos backed up. So if the, uh, the timeline on my videos for the next few weeks kind of seems off, you know why. How bad was but the rain yesterday? It rained pretty good last night. Not too bad. Yeah. There's water spots in here. No, that's not water. That's grease. Or uh, oil. Oil leakage. From it's motors. It's everywhere. Nah, yeah, it's fine. What? Concrete stained up. Yeah, it rained pretty good last night, but no water in the garage, so we're good there. Yep. But I'm gonna get to work. I think I'm gonna put start working on that basket case mower. At least get it as a roller so I can move it. Cow that thing's mower heavy. With a tongue. You're a goober. <laughs> what? Right. So the next one. Later, y'all.